Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 11 in this Hacking Lab uh, playlist. So if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please like, subscribe, and share. And if you're returning, let's have some fun. So in this video, we're gonna be exploiting and seeing port 80, which is HTTP web services. And we're gonna see what we have on here and we'll see what we can exploit, right? Remember, this is Metasploitable 2. So hopefully you're following along in this playlist, or if you just come into learn how to do it on uh, Metasploitable 2 and you just want to learn how to, you know, hack or penetrate or pen test port 80 and if you're using MS2 for your practice labs. So, but if not, you know, watch this playlist. It has a whole bunch of fun stuff and I'm not sure where I'm going to end. This is video 11. I thought I was going to end that video 9, but I'm probably going to do some more, maybe my SQL, just like pick some stuff random out of the hat, look at MS2, and see what we got to exploit, right? So I booted up my Kali box and my uh, Metasploitable 2 box, so let's make sure it's up and running and see what we got. All right, so give me a second, let me pull that up. All right, so here we have, you know, it's still the same IP address for me, 10.0.200.5. So we can see, you know, we go to PHP, yep, it's reading. And I did run an MMAP scam just to save some time. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. And we can see what's happening here, right? So we can see that if you do an NMAP-SV, uh, which is for service, and we do our IP address, in my case is 10.0.200.5, and we specify the port 80, you know? So you can also, if you're following along through the play playlist, and if you exported the ms2.txt, which is the whole scan for all the services, all the ports and all that stuff, you can look in there as well. But this is pretty much goes, cuts right to the chase and I just wanna see port 80. I don't need to worry about anything else at this very moment, right? Maybe the next video will attack a different port. All right, so, so we have here port 80. It's running service HTTP. We have a, a Apache HTTPD 2.2.8 and it's running on Ubuntu, right? So pretty much what does that tell me? That pretty much tells me it's running Apache. Uh, but what else can we get from here, right? What other information can we gather or, you know, get from this service, right? So let's go ahead and just clear this out. And we're gonna go ahead and pop up in our favorite MSF console, Metasploit. And then what we're gonna do is see like the version, see if we can get more information and we can use an auxiliary inside of Metasploit HP underscore. So once this is up and running, we'll we'll give that a jingle. Let's give that a moment. And you can do this for anything, right? For any kind of website, you can search and you know do all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and do a control L. And I want to go ahead and search uh, HTTP underscore VER, for example. All right, so we have this auxiliary right here. So let's use zero. All right, and we can do show options. And we have our ports. So this is the target, which in my case is gonna be 10.0.200.5. Set our host. Whoops, sorry about that. Our host, 10.0.200.5. And I think that should be good in my case. So now let's go ahead and show options again, just to make sure it's showing in here. So as you can see here, we have the R port set. And now let's just go ahead and hit run. All right, so what do we get here? So we got some information here that Apache 2.2.8 Ubuntu, so it's powered by PHP. So that didn't, they didn't show us that inside of the Nmap scan, right? So what does that say? Now we can see what PHP info is running, right? So let's go back to our site. And if we just tack on here, uh, PHP info.php, let's give that a shot. That PHP. And now, let's make this bigger. So now we have PHP version 5.2.4, right? Dash for Ubuntu 5.10. So we can see system, system build, you know, from 2010. So it's 13, almost nearly 13 years old, or January 6th, I'm sorry. I don't know what I just said, January. I don't know what I said. But, um, 
the server API. So it's CGI, fast CGI, uh, virtual directory support disabled. So this is what pretty much stands out to me. What we can do is we can take this information. Obviously, if you're doing an assessment and you're finding these, you can take snippets and put this in your report, right, for your client. And, and you could do it for your own testing purposes, right, just to get in the groove of taking snippets and taking pictures and documenting your process of any kind of exploit that you do. If it's a vulnerable machine like this, hack the box, try hack me, getting into that routine of actually writing down and documenting your process gives you that leverage as a pen tester when you get in the field, you know? So, because I didn't do this when I was doing hack the box and all that stuff, or even I did a lot of Vulnhub machines before, I was just so eager to get the flags and just learn the process. I never documented. I was never really a big documenter while I was doing the boxes. And then, you know, as experience happened and, you know, when you're getting into the field, it's, it's a given, you need to know this, right? It's not the most fun thing. Obviously you can make it simpler. You have a template and you, you know, just snip it and snapshots and it gets easier as you, as you learn it. But I know how, you know, as a pen tester, you just want to hack into the system and just do all that good stuff and go on with your merry way. Who, you know, who gives a damn about um, documenting it, all right? So cool. So now what we have here, we have PHP 5 CGI. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back into Metasploit and see if we can scan for any directories. And let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and just, uh, let's go exit. Uh, let's do that, but that's fine. So, so let's go ahead and just boot this up again. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, do something else. And then we'll try to start exploiting and see what's, what's crack lacking on here. All right, let's uh, give this a moment. Doom, 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 All right, so let's do, let's do a uh, search, dir like a directory list. Let's see if it, whoops. So active directory. So we're gonna do, 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 do. Mm. Is it directory scanner? Let me see, maybe it's directory scanner. Yeah, perfect. So let's go ahead and use zero. And I don't use these every single day. So sometimes I slips my mind. So let's go ahead and show options here. And we can do the same thing. Let's go ahead and set the R host. And then it's gonna be 10.0.200.5 in my case. And then let's run it. Okay, let's see if we get any anything that's cooking. So what this is gonna do is gonna see if there's any directories that we can find. And then this is another thing, we can take a little snippet of this, paste it into our report and keep on going, right? So we can keep going and going and going and seeing what else is out there. But now let's go ahead and start, you know, we, we, we've been doing this for almost 10 minutes now. So let's actually try to exploit the machine. Once we exploit the machine, you know, we can get a, a reverse shell and all that stuff. So, so let's go back. So let's go back here. So we're gonna use, Etsy, uh, do, do, do. All right, here we go, Etsy PHP 5. So what we can do is just, we can copy this, we can go on Google, we can search for exploits and all that good stuff. But so when it's running, you know, we are running uh, uh, PHP, what is it? Uh, yeah, 5.2.4. All right, so what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and go back into Metasploit. Let's go ahead and just do back. All right, so now let's go ahead and search uh, for an example, I think it's PG, uh, PHP underscore CGI. I'm, I think it's something like this. Yeah, uh, because what we're gonna do here is a, <coughs> excuse me. So we're gonna do like an argument injection, right? So this is a vulnerability that resides on this box as well. So let's go ahead and uh, give this a jingle. So let's use zero and now let's do show options. And now pretty much what we have to do, we have an L host, we have the port. So what we're gonna do is set the R, actually before we do that, I wanna make sure that's my IP address. I'm pretty sure it is, but let's let's uh, make sure. Yep, it is, perfect. All right, so let's go ahead and just do, 
let's do stat our host and it's my case 10.0.200.5. I think that should be good. Let's go ahead and just exploit this. All right, we, that was quick. So we did get a, sh a session. So let me just do sysinfo. And we can see it's metasploitable. It's running, excuse me, it's running uh, Linux uh, 2.6.24-16 server, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, so pretty much we have, we can do shell, ID, we can see everything, LS. Now we're on that machine. Technically we compromised the box. Remember there's no flags in here, so it's not like we're trying to do that, but yeah, we popped the misinterpreter shell. We were able to get into this machine. So you've seen some steps in order to do that, to find some information on a web server and exploit port 80. So hopefully it's been informative for you folks. Until next time, have a beautiful day. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, hit the bells and all that stuff and get into the algorithm. So help the channel grow. And if you wanna support it, you can join the channel and um, support the journey. And I'm trying to get you know more revenue to the channel just to have better equipment, better, you know, better quality content for you folks to learn. And I really appreciate it. For the you know for the few subscribe uh, excuse me for the few uh, join members that I have and the super likes and super chats and super thanks and all that it's really you know it's really uh, I'm super grateful so thank you for that I appreciate it and until next time take care so long.